all right everyone it's your boy fernie back for part three of the bee cave sculpture garden so it looks like the selena one that we saw earlier does have this selena open casting what is that supposed to mean like when she was casting doing additions we don't know Oh, like the minimum. Oh, like playing tribute to her, you think? This one looks more on the dot. It's called the beehive, and that looks like a beehive, right? Oh, that is so cool. They even made little bees. They look more like flies, but they are right there on the inside. There used to be a little bee colony right by the shrubs in my apartment complex. I let them be, no pun intended, and they let me be. So it was neat. But they're not there no more. Instead, they've been replaced by birds. Drone bee donors. B. I heard a B actually right now. You made to donate a B to the beehive sculptures of beecave.org. How do you do that? Oh, are these all donations? Is that it? Each one of these? Cool. Like it? Here we have a history of Bee Cave, Texas. Oh, it just hit me. Those are the bees, and that's a cave, right? Bee Cave. Bee Cave was named by early settlers for the huge hives formed by colonies of Mexican honeybees near the banks of Barton Creek. As the story goes, the hives are so big, a man could stand in them. So locals began to call them caves. So that's what that is. It's a dedication to the bee caves, an actual bee cave. Be well. Participate for a chance to win a gift card basket. Beecavearts.org. Cool. Oh, look, we saw this at the other place, right? At that train station. So this is twice now, guys. People can just drop off books and then read books and vice versa. We saw this at the other place. You saw my video the other day. Diablo Mesa. Oh, what a um, quinky dink. Barbie. The big phenomenon from the summer. Does this lock? Greatest gifts we can give our children are the roots of responsibility. It does not lock. There we go. Cool. And we got this one over here. So that must be it over there. That's a bee. I'm not sure what this is. It's called the hard headed man. Okay. So it's a literal hard head of a man. Oh, okay. You can see the hair, nose, chin, a tail. Is it the devil? No one understand that. Ooh. 
Ooh, we got another one. See, you think that there's not too many of these, but there are. Lots of sculptures. Flame Man. So this is one hot guy right here. Looks like it's made by Stephen Berman back in 2014. Looks like here is more resting place, resting stops. Yeah, you can do this one if you want. Looks like we have a small little bridge. Isn't that neat? more resting spots uh oh somebody left their uh glasses that's what it looks like i'm just gonna leave them there that way oh look at this that way if that person returns they'll know where it's at isn't this cool it's a chest piece actually let me show this first bats more bats this you would see something like this in bruce wayne's cave right fly by night artist john mark luke that does look like the bat symbol kind of cool huh Is it metal? It is. Solid steel. But this is probably the centerpiece of the whole place. We got a knight on the floor. It's a giant chess piece. How cool is that? I know a little bit of chess. I'm no expert. But that is definitely one of the most powerful pieces. I've seen lots of players use that first. Then that one, of course, they save the queen for last. And then we got a celebrity cameo again. The one, the only, Papos. Making his rounds. Looks like he is the king. Cool. So the way I've seen most celebrity or chess players do is they usually move this one first. Then they move the horse or the knight. And then that tends to create a... What's the word I'm looking for? Like a bluff where the other person has to start sacrificing their pawns. That's the way I've seen it. Like with most of the higher set levels, harder settings on chess moves. It's those two are the ones that are moved first. This is so cool. Looks like there's an extra one. You know, I might actually do a fourth video. There's a lot of things to show. Oh, we got another one in the back. Another one. You ever played chess before? No, I don't know how to play. It's not too bad, um, but there's definitely different levels. Some moves I don't even know about. Like there was one move where it was like a switch, where one side of the chess move got switched to the other side. I don't know why. Let's go down here. 
one last one here folks and then we'll do the rest of the video oh there's still a bunch over there wow looks like we'll have a part four and five coming up look at that it's a little house for birdies or in this case mosquitoes isn't that cool sculpture name on this one oh it's closed off over here maybe it's not for birdies maybe it is for butterflies right let me know in the comments is that what it's for There's no butterflies, but I definitely see mosquitoes there. All right, everyone. This will wrap up this video, and then I'll do the next part, part four. Talk to you all soon.